Yo, what's good, YouTube? This is Jay from TNJ, and welcome to opening day in the Indianapolis Arrows franchise. The first game of this series will take place at home, and we will be facing the Minnesota Twins. We'll see if we can get a win to open up this series. In spring training, we saw some impressive outings from Adam Frazier and Victor Reyes. Both guys hit over 240. Pretty good, to be honest with you. We obviously have an older team. But then Ramel Tapia also had a good spring, but one guy that didn't is William Estadillo, and he's going to be an interesting player. We've seen what he can do on YouTube. We've seen what he can do in the game, and now he gets a chance to be the full-time starter at third base. I got to say, though, nobody's position is really solidified on this team. This team could be drastically different in a month, in two months. You never even know. It's not like we're going to make a ton of trades, but our team is just starting out. We have a lot of building to do. Eric Lauer will be on the mound here versus the Twins at home to face this lineup featuring Carlos Correa and Byron Buxton in the middle of their lineup, followed by Jorge Polanco. Then at the bottom, they have some pretty good players, but in year one, we are expecting a rebuild, and it could be beyond year one, to be honest, but the Arrows have some interesting players like Romeo Tapia, who is projected to lead our team in average, hitting 279. And then Eric Hosmer, the veteran, expected to lead us in RBIs, home runs, and OPS. We'll just have to see about that. Eric Lauer on the mound, 11-7 record last year with the Brewers. He was our number one overall pick in this expansion draft. We will see what happens this season with him. As we start against a tough lineup, Donovan Solano will lead off the first game of Arrows history. And the first pitch he sees will be below the strike zone, bringing it to a 2-1 count. Lauer delivers on a 2-2 pitch. This one's high in the zone. A hard hit ball to Nicky Lopez at short. And a good throw to first. We'll get the first out of this series. We all know about Byron Buxton in the middle of this lineup, but now Michael Taylor comes up, and he is fooled for a circle changeup outside of the zone. As that brings up Carlos Correa. Remember in the offseason, Correa almost left. Ended up coming back to the Twins. This one's hit hard up the middle, and that one will be the first hit of the series as Correa is on first, and that will bring up Byron Buxton. Big bat there at number four in the lineup. Ground ball to short. Nicky Lopez with two putouts here in the first inning. Easy throw to first. On the mound for the Twins will be Joe Ryan. He was 13-8 last year, 110 whip, a very, very good season as he faces this new team looking to gel together for the first time. Here is D. Gordon up to the plate, and he just breaks his bat. A little soft little liner back to the pitcher. Rymel Tapia hitting in that two spot, projected to lead our team in average this year. A soft ground ball to short, and two easy outs here. For the Twins. Mike Moustakis is going to hit three in the lineup early in the season, but that is subject to change as he swings and he checks his swing and the ump says he went around and he knew it right away. Top two now. Minnesota has a man on first. Kyle Farmer at the plate. This is a hard ground ball to Lopez. Lopez on to second in a 6-4-3 double play. Indianapolis was drafted to be a good defensive team. We knew we weren't going to be great offensively. And here's a deep fly ball. D. Gordon giving chase. That one's all the way to the wall over the top of his glove. And it will be a double here with two outs as looks like Jose Miranda will come to the plate with two outs. And a swing and miss at the inside. Cut fastball. And Lauer gets out of that inning. Eric Hosmer to the plate now to lead off the top bottom of the second inning, and he will get the first hit of the game here for the Arrows. And now we have a man on first base and our first base runner of the series. We'll see if he can keep it going. Adam Frazier, who has deemed the team captain at the start of this series, he flies this one into foul territory. 
that one will be the first out of that inning. So that brings up Williams Astalio, and he will check his swing. And Joe Ryan with a couple of nice innings, one hit given up. Bottom three now, here is Francisco Mejia, who is the second pick of our expansion draft. He hits one hard, straight up the middle, right to Byron Buxton. Jackie Bradley Jr. drafted to be a defensive center fielder, and this one's hit deep to center field. Byron Buxton giving chase. He covers a lot of ground out there, but he can't get to that one, and Jackie Bradley surprises the outfield and goes deep to dead center for a one-out double. Romel Tapia comes up with two outs. He hits one to right center. That one gets down, and the first runner will come across the plate, and Romel Tapia has the first RBI of this series. It's one nothing arrows. Romel Tapia had a good career with the Rockies. They let him go, and Toronto ended up picking him up, and now he's with the arrows. Here is Moustakis trying to continue this inning, and he will just swing and miss at an inside slider. And that ends the third. Top four now. Eric Lauer's pitching pretty good through, uh, looks like three and a quarter inning. That one will be a fly ball to Moustakas at first. Jose Miranda up in the fifth. And more of the same, the 84th pitch of the game for Lauer is going to be a strike three as he gets through five innings. No runs given up. On to the bottom of the fifth inning. Here is Estadillo at the plate. He draws the walk as that brings up Francisca Mejia. He will draw a walk as well. So guys on first and second with no outs, and that brings up Jackie Bradley. We will play a little small ball here. That's what we got to do this year. Ground ball will be thrown on to second and safe all around. So bases loaded with the top of our lineup here at the plate. Here is D. Gordon. He flies to center field. Byron Buxton with an excellent arm in center. We just forced the throw home, but we will hold up Estadio at third. Rymel Tapia hits one well to right field. This one will be caught. We will actually tag up Estadio on this one, and he will make it in safe. So Tapia has two RBIs in the only two of the game, and it's a 2-0 lead. Mike Moustak is to the plate now. Oh, this one's a wild pitch. It gets past the catcher. Maybe a pass ball they will call that one. As this at-bat continues, and Mike Moustakis will swing and miss. It's 2-0 arrows going into the seventh. On to the seventh inning. Here's Carlos Correa, who squares one up deep to left center field. It barely makes it over the wall and into the stands for the first run of the game here for the Twins. 408-103 exit velo. Great extension on that swing, and Correa brings it within one run. And that's going to be it here for Eric Lauer. A good showing. He's just over 100 pitches, but an excellent, excellent first outing here for the Arrows. As the first man we bring out of the bullpen will be Carlos Hernandez. He had a very high ERA and a very high whip last year. Hopefully he can turn that around. He faces Byron Buxton right away. He swings and misses at that curveball. As that brings up Jorge Polanco with one out. This one's driven deep to right field. It's not coming back. It's a home run. Jorge Polanco will tie this ball game up at two apiece. That one was just right over the middle of the plate. Polanco does not miss. And our, we know our pitching staff is not the greatest. Our bullpen is not the greatest. But, man, we got to be better than that. But Carlos Hernandez does finish the inning right there with a strikeout as we move on to the ninth inning. Nicky Lopez will come up to the plate here. One for three in this game. In with one out, three, one count. Can Lopez come through? It's a ball four, a circle change, and now we have a man on first base with decent speed, 61. As to Dio to the plate now with one out, a high and in tight fastball. It's strike three. That's a very rare strikeout from Astadillo. He has 99 vision at the plate. That brings up Francisca Mejia. He turns on one, but just gets under this one. It was good timing, and he just missed a walk-off shot as we head into extras. The extra uh, inning rule with the base runner on second is in play here, and that brings up Polanco, who already went deep. That's strike three. 
Archie Bradley out of the bullpen. He gets another strikeout. This time it's Jeffers at the plate, and he gets through the 10th inning. Here is D. Gordon now. A base hit could win this game. He hits one hard up the middle. This one could get through, but a great diving stop by Correa probably saves the game-winning run. But now we have men on the corners here with one out. Tapia, who has two RBIs in this one. Ground ball to short, 6-4-3, and we're headed to the 11th. Archie Bradley still on the mound here for the Indianapolis Arrows, and he will get a strike three, swinging on Donovan Solano. And now we're on to the bottom of the 11th inning. Both teams in a stalemate here. Here is Mike Moustakis who starts out this inning. And now there's a man There's a man on first and second. No outs. Eric Hosmer to the plate. One for four today. And he draws a walk. So Dennis Santana loads up the bases. And that brings Adam Frazier to the plate. High pitch. This one's a short fly ball to center. Decent speed at third. But Byron Buxton, one of the strongest arms in the game. He holds up the runner. All right, Nicky Lopez. He comes to the plate. A base hit will win this game. He works it to a 3-1. That one could have been a strike. And now he works it full. 3-2 count. One out. High and in tight. Slider. And that will do it. The Arrows walk it off here in 11 with a walk-off walk. What a game. A 3-2 narrow victory in the first game of the series is won by Indianapolis by a walk. I would have never predicted the first game would go like this. The most unpredictable opener I've probably ever seen. And no player on our team had more than one hit. It was just like that type of pitching duel to open the series. So on to game two here versus the Twins in this three-game set to open the season. And right away, another pitching duel with Ryan Yarbrough on the mound. It's 0-0 going into the sixth, and the Indianapolis Arrows get a run there and make it one nothing. but only five hits to our name to their four. Now with a man on first base, we go to the bullpen, and we do get out of a jam with Jose Alvarez. But now on to the bottom of the eighth. Another home run, that time by Eric Hosmer. And now we're on to the ninth, and we end up pulling this one out as Eric Hosmer, much like the first game with Romel Tapia, has both RBIs in this one. And we end up with a 2 nothing victory. I got to say, I'm happy about the outcome of these first couple of games. But the third one does go to Minnesota. They end up winning 10-4. 14 hits. This was a very different game than the first two. And Sonny Gray gets the win. Chris Archer gets the loss. But I am not mad at this start here in this series, especially seeing the bats of Eric Hosmer and Tapia. Those two guys are going to be really good in the middle of our lineup. And then also Nicky Lopez, not a bad start. Only three hits, but still, I'll take it. And then if Jackie Bradley can hit like he did in that opener, man, we're in for... A pretty surprising season from him. Now, this year in MLB The Show, they did adjust the schedule. So you'll see draft day at the right time. You'll see the AAA season and AA season start at the same time. So right away, we get to check out the AAA season right now. So next episode, right after uh, opening series versus the Twins at the MLB level, we get to check out our AAA affiliate. So we will check out the Omaha Storm Chasers for the first time already and take a look at not many, but some top prospects at the AAA level. And we'll see what they are kind of working with there and see what we have to scout going forward. So hope you guys enjoyed the opener as much as I did. A very unpredictable opener. So hit subscribe, hit that like button. Stay tuned. Let's get it. Let's go.